This is my uh, fourth generation biofuels uh, system, or mobile biofuel system. And what I used to do is use uh, cartridge filters uh, to filter my uh, my blend uh, bio diesel blend. And uh, I found that the cartridge filters were dissolving because of the alcohol that's present in uh, gasoline these days. So then I went out and bought a uh, bag filter canister and bag filter uh, for the system. And originally I started with the 10 inch big blues and then I went to the 10 inch big clears and the big clears uh, cracked uh, and the bag filter, all the, the canisters by the way are cartridge filters, uh, have uh, about 18 square feet of surface area which is a lot of surface area whereas bag filters have maybe two or three square feet of surface area. So that's why I went and got the 20 inch bag filter and it was only $25 more anyway and the filter price for bag filters is less than $5 a bag and that's uh, buying one or two at a time. So now what I'm going to do is uh, I'm, I've finished installing the new bag filter and I've left in the one big clear, Sears big clear uh, filter without a cartridge in it uh, because I want to be able to monitor the process and I just and I'm most concerned about uh, the bag getting a hole in it and I so I want to avoid uh, contaminating my fuel tank and by having a clear container after the filter I'll be able to have a visual confirmation whether filtering is working or not. Before processing fuel each time I draw some of the bottom of the fuel off the processing tank through a valve at the bottom. And uh, I've already drained off about a gallon or four liters of uh, this fuel, but it's been settling for a couple of weeks, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna draw off maybe a half a gallon or, or one or two liters. And here we go. And I'm not sure if you can see, but it's black and it's fairly thick. This is the, uh, the way I fuel my tank. I filter directly into the fuel tank with an automatic valve. The automatic valve prevents me from overflowing the tank, which is awfully convenient. And I've got lots of flexible elbows and hoses in between to accommodate all little turns that I may have to accommodate. Okay, so all I have to do to process a tank of fuel after draining off the sludge at the bottom of the tank is I open the fuel valve, automatic fuel valve, all right, I open this valve here that's after the filters and before the automatic fuel valve. And then I make sure these valves are closed, they're, they're the drain valves. And this is the back flushing valve, it has to be closed. And then uh, the valve at the top of the tank has to be closed, the tank lid has to be on, pressure gauge and regulator have to be attached. And uh, last but not least, there's a valve here that I open, uh, which opens the tank to the filters. Now the only other thing I need to do is power the air pump that I use to pressurize the tank. Oh, that's interesting. There we go. I didn't want to start at first, but now it's starting. And then I want to run the pressure and the flow. Opening the pressure regulator. There we go. I now have just a little bit of pressure. PSI and 
and hopefully soon we'll see uh, fuel, clean fuel entering our little container here. That's where the action's going to be. I've got the pressure on. If this was pleated cellulose filter, we'd see fuel already. This is my first time with a with a uh, bag filter. All right, we now have fuel flowing. And it looks fairly clear. Here's the fuel flowing into the our view. It's a little dark. Uh, and it could be that I've sprung a leak in my filter at 10 psi. This is my uh, big clear canister that's after the uh, one micron bag filter. And as we can see, even though the, the blend that I've created is amber reddish, almost you know quite dark, but it is clear which means the filter's working and I have not, uh, the filter has not sprung a leak. This is the flow rate through a one micron bag filter of petrol blended with vegetable oil at 20% petrol and 80% vegetable oil. You can see that it's fairly clear. Flow rate is not real high. It looks like it's going to take about an hour to process uh, 20 gallons of fuel, which would be 80 liters of fuel. There's about 2 gallons or 8 liters of fuel left to process. I've turned the pump off. The pressure is still at 10 psi, and we can see that uh, the fuel is still amber colored, but there's no sediment at the bottom. So the filter sh uh, appears to be doing its job of cleaning the fuel down to one micron, which I believe is plenty. I don't know if you can hear that, but that's air passing through the system now. Uh, so it has finished pushing the fuel through and now we're just pushing the last little bit through the filter. I don't see any air bubbles. We still have about 9 psi of pressure in the tank so air has not passed completely through it, through the filter, it must still be processing fuel. In fact, let's see if we have fuel coming out of the fuel valve. Oh, we have very little fuel coming through the fuel valve. That means that basically We've just got air in the system now, and that's just a reservoir of fuel.